following program shows real people taken into custody by Dallas SWAT. They are presumed innocent until proven guilty. Here we go! You're about as close to flying as you're gonna ever get. He's inside the tractor trailer. He's taking the driver hostage. Go, 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 go. Quarter mile behind us. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You're shooting hard. Shooting again. Get ready, Bob. They're coming up over the hill. Everybody cover your ears. They're coming. Get out of here now! I've repelled off of buildings, off of mountainsides, but probably the best thing that I've ever repelled out of was a helicopter. That was just all kind of cool. Been on the department for 15 years. I've been on the SWAT team for seven now. I'm one of the repel masters. We'll go up top, make a couple of practice drops. Coming up. I got my nickname Spider-Man when I was a kid. When I started climbing, the nickname stuck. about as close to flying as you're gonna ever get. On a Traffic's starting to stack up a little bit. It's not rush hour, but something else is gonna be going on. And now breaking news, a hijacked 18-wheeler is leading police on a high-speed chase through North Dallas. About 30 minutes ago, a man took a woman truck driver hostage he is holding her at gunpoint. Yep, here we go. Time to go to work. As we know it now, uh, the hostage situation started in Fairview, Texas. Got it. He's inside the cab of a tractor trailer. He's armed with a pistol. He's taking the driver hostage. Uh, she's got her dog in the cab, too. Hey, yeah. It's our job to get in a position where, if we have to, we can take the shot to immobilize the vehicle. And that's what this gun is designed to do. This is the 50 caliber Barrett semi-automatic. It's a 700 grain armor-piercing projectile, and it goes through pretty much anything we want it to. It's designed for, for stopping machinery, shooting engine blocks. Effective range is about 2,000 yards. So without a doubt, the most powerful sniper rifle in the world. You got ammo? All right, Andrew, did you copy? We're in a sniper APC. It's our job to fire into the engine block and hopefully bring the tractor trailer to a halt. The other APC has got the assault team in it. Oh, ready? And the assault team will assault the cab and rescue the hostage. Oh. All we're going to do is disable it and stop it for them. Uh, yeah. They've got the hard part. Bob and I am here, Scotty's driving. Right now we're playing chase, playing catch up. Scotty's driving like Mario and Dredge, so it'll be quick. Where's he at now, Scotty?
he's swerving a lot. Move forward and get eyes in from the A side. We're sending a scout car up in front. Two SWAT officers will uh, leapfrog in front of the tractor trailer itself. Uh, start providing us a little intel on where the suspect is at, as well as how the hostage is doing herself. Uh, start relaying that back to us. The suspect is a black male. He's in between the two seats, the two front seats. Every time traffic goes by to block traffic, he gets down. So all I can see is the top of his head. They got traffic stopped everywhere. This is probably getting taped right now. CNN will have this in the air in just a minute. It, it, no, it's on TV now, right now, I'm sure. Okay. And we got some pedestrians up here on the side of the road, guys. Watch out. All these people are going to wind up getting hit. Don't get his ass. All these people out here it makes our job a lot more difficult. The danger factors greatly increased. We have to find a, a safe and secure spot to take the shot. Right now, it's just a mobile barricaded person, or actually a mobile hostage situation. The, the, the guy's doing about uh, 30 miles an hour. He's on his front rims. Six of his 18 tires are flat. Does he still have his drive tires on the other side of the cab? I don't think so. I think he's on the rims over there, too. We're working with the tracking company. They believe they can shut the truck down by satellite. So here they are. They're saying they got an opportunity to shut the truck down by remote with a tracking device. The trucking company thinks they can basically do the same thing that all these big guns are going to do for us. But it's just a question of can they do it? The chunks are still coming off, so it's just taking a long time to pretty heavy rounds. It's going hard right. Whoa, Watch that squad whoa. car. Watch the squad car. got word from the command post that the trucking company cannot shut down the truck by remote control. So that option is gone. We're going to have to find another way to get this truck to stop. Still waiting on word from our chief on what the, what the final plan is going to be. What he would do is leapfrog ahead to an overpass with the 50. We just got permission from the lieutenant to set up the 50 so we can take the shot into the engine block. We just got to clear everybody off the top of the bridge itself. Go, 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 go. Hurry up. Right He's a quarter mile behind us. Get ready, Bob. They're coming up over the hill now. They're about a mile behind us. I'll let you know when I got it in sight. Half mile, Scott. Bob, be advised, you got people on the freeway about 300 yards up. Quarter mile. They're coming. Everybody, cover your ears. Here he comes.
as we know it now, he's inside the cab of a tractor trailer. He's armed with a pistol. He's taking the driver hostage. Been in chase with him for about an hour now. They're mobilizing the SWAT team in the helicopter as well as the APC. We've got the assault team and the other APC beside us. The assault team will assault the cab and rescue the hostage. It's our job to get in position to mobilize the vehicle. We just got permission from the lieutenant to set up the 50 so we can take the shot into the engine block. Go, 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 go. Hurry up. We just got to clear everybody off the top of the bridge itself. They're coming up over the hill now. They're about a mile behind us. Bob, you all right? I'm good. I'll let you know when I got your sight. Half mile, Scott. Bob, be advised. You got people on the freeway. You can shoot straight down here. Oh, Quarter mile. Everybody, cover your ears. Here he comes. No joy, no joy. For the chief, no shot. Too many people. Mom, climb in. Back in. Right now, I got it. I got it. I got it. If we happen to take the shot and it glances off the engine block or it, it goes someplace that we can't account for, we're responsible for that round. And with too many people alongside the road and slowing down to watch this chase, it was just too risky. It was unfortunate. The longer this chase continues, the further out of town it gets, the more desperate the hostage taker is going to become. I think he's starting to realize that he's not going to get away, so it's definitely going to become a little more dangerous for her. Who is this? The DPS officer right there. We got DPS right up here. Shoot. You got a guy to point. about to shoot him. They're shooting hard. Shooting again. They're going to shut it down. They hit the radiator. It's overheating. His engine's going. It's about to stop. windows above that cab so he can yeah. see out but we can't see in. Yeah, I can see inside the cab from the mirror. They are not visible. It looks like they're in the sleeper. Not the troopers that got the truck stopped. The negotiators are going to take an active role. They're going to play a critical role in getting this driver released. <laughs> Thank you.
We're gonna go ahead and try to get a hold of Christy, the hostage to her cell phone, and try to get a hold of the suspect now. Hello, Christy. Hello. This is Joe. Can you hear me? My dog's barking. I can't. Yeah, I know your dog's barking. I can hear him barking. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, Christy. You're doing a good job. He's pointing the gun at me. Please. Please but help tell, me. Tell Sam that, that he needs to talk to us. We need to talk to him to explain to him what's going on. Sam. Can you hear me, Sam? Yeah. Listen, Sam, what you're requesting for us to send a media camera up there does not happen, okay? Our bosses are not going to allow that to happen. Okay, well... Not with Christy in there. Uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to end it. Sam. He may be assaulting her right now. I mean, we need to get eyes in there. Well, the APC can move ahead to the A-side get eyes in the cab if that's what you want. The APC is going to move ahead to the A-side at 12 o'clock, and we're going to set a sniper team up in there, okay? Right now, the suspect's inside the, the cab of the vehicle, and he's back in the sleeper part, and he has the hostage with him. So we're just setting up a perimeter right now and trying to get the snipers in front of the truck so they can get a look inside there. We got eyes in. My job now is providing intelligence for the assault team. I got eyes in through the front windshield of the cab. Unfortunately, he's got a, the partition blind pulled back, so I can't see him at all right now. Unless they pull that dray up over and they do it right in front of us, we're not going to get good eyes on. Hello. Christy, this is Joe. I'm hyperventilating or something. I know. You've got to move that truck out in front of me. Which one? The SWAT team thing is right in front of my truck. He was watching it. Yeah. They got the gun draw down. I know. He's sitting right directly behind me. You have got to move that truck. I don't give a... Please help me move the truck. My okay. God, I don't, I don't care anymore. Please move the truck. I know, Christy. Let me talk to Sam. He won't have to leave. Is he hurting you? Christy. Hello. Sam. Sam, can you hear me, Sam? Yeah, I hear Sam, telling Christy to tell me to move those trucks back, it's not going to work, okay? We have to work this out, Sam. The bosses have said, you let Christy out of there, you can talk to all the media back here that you want to, okay? But that's only going to happen when Christy and you come out of there. Can you come there. to the door? Can I come to the door? Yeah. What, what door do you want me to come to? The driver's side. No, I, I, Sam, there's nobody going to come near there. They I'm, will not allow no one near there. If the bad guy sticks his head out, that if he's, he's threatening the hostage and I feel he's going to do imminent harm to her, I can right. go ahead and take the shot on my own. Right. But I have to justify that. You've got you're doing... to move this trucker. You've got to make him sit down. Okay. Please what? help me. Okay. Does he have the pistol in his hand? Yes, as I told you a hundred times. My God, please help me. Tell Sam that I'm not coming near there until he comes out of there. Tell Sam that they are not going <laughs> to let us get near there. <laughs> I know, Christy, I know you're doing good. You just tell Sam what we tell you. Pass the phone to Sam. No. Huh? No. Okay, he's not hurting you, is he? Well, yeah. The suspect's getting a little more desperate. He wants the police to kill him, so he'll do everything he can to force us to shoot him. 
Grizzly, is, is he hurting you in any way? Okay, he said I had to hang up. The suspect's inside the, the cab of the vehicle, and he has the hostage with him. So we're trying to get the snipers in front of the truck so they can get a look inside there. Does he have the pistol in his hand? Yes, my God, please help me. Christy, is, is he hurting you in any okay, way? Okay, he said I had to hang up. Basically, this guy is desperate. He's told some of his people that he's not going to be taken alive. We call that uh, death by cop. We're hoping that he doesn't try to take the hostage out with him. Yes. The ball's in your court, man. Make the right decision, OK? Make the right decision. Are you there? Sam. Keith, you got your own gun? All right, Keith. Shift. Your rifle's still up there. We try and relieve each other on a deal like this every 10 minutes. And any time longer than that, you, you start to lose your focus. You start to lose your, your concentration. Can you see him? I see her face. You got her, Bob? Yeah, that was her. The shades are cracked a little bit, and she keeps looking through the crack in the shades. It's a waiting game now. Right now, the, the light's helping us. It's coming through the, the windshield, but he's tucked in the back of the cab, so we can't see anything anyway. So he's got the, the little partition blind pulled. Please move the truck. <laughs> Please move the truck. Why does he want the truck moved from in front of you? Because they're up there with the sniper gun. Uh -huh. And he's directly behind me, uh -huh. holding a gun to my head. Christy. Help me. Please don't, baby, please. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't what? Please don't. <laughs> Christy, hang in there, girl. Hang in there. You're doing good. Sam, please don't. What, Sam, what is, come get his gun. What is Sam saying? Here, let me have it, and let me throw it out the window, baby. Let me have it. Please let me talk to him, baby, please. If I throw the gun out the window. Uh-huh. Throw the gun out the window. Come on. Baby, please. Tell him to throw it out the window, Chris. Okay, he wants to see you before he hands it to you. I'm back towards the back. They won't let me move up till he throws that gun out. Tell him, does he see the truck behind him to say SWAT on it? I'm back there. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come huh? on. Please. Please. Shades are open. Shades are open. She's in the cab. She's coming out. Here she comes. She's coming out. Right, dog and the female are out. Suspect still inside. She came out and threw out the gun. is out, but we don't know what the situation is in there, if he's still armed with another weapon or not. 810 to CP, recommend gas in that cab through the open door. 810 to 880, now's a good time for gas with that door open. We don't know what his mindset in there is. He's hung up the phones, not talking to us. We don't know whether he's going to come out and force a situation with SWAT and try to get uh, SWAT to kill him. Okay. 810 to 880, getting ready to uh, deploy a chemical agent. You good? You good? That's a through and through. Eyes on, guys. Let me know what you see. 
They got eyes on her. Radio silence. Coming out. coming out. He's coming out. All right, suspect's in the front cab now. Coming Looks out. like he's coming out. Coming out, driver's side. Coming out, driver's side. I got him, Bob. Rib cage. They're moving up. Check the cab. Check the cab. Suspects being taken into custody. They're checking the cab. Clear. Clear. What's your name, man? Who's Joe? You'll, you'll talk to him in a minute. The suspect stated he knew he was going to do this last night. He is upset. He can't find a job. He's on parole. He's a convicted felon. And the only thing he has to live for is his kids, so. Today uh, was a pretty intense situation for everybody involved. Things worked out pretty well. The uh, hostage was released. It must have been a terrifying experience for her. She did a great job, and uh, a little bit of gas persuaded the bad guy to come out. All in all, I think it worked out pretty good today. It's a good feeling to have as a, as a SWAT officer. Go ahead, Scotty. Go ahead. Moving. Every year, the department has what they call the Top Gun shoot-off. We have a one-day competition, four or five different shooting events. And we'll come out and go head-to-head -head and basically see who the best pistol shooters on the department are. I've got to practice just a little bit since I haven't really shot my pistol much lately. There are uh, about 3,000 officers on the department here in Dallas. They invite the top 1% to this pistol shoot off every year. Threw one a little bit off to the right. I've won a Top Gun three times. There's only been one other guy on the department that's won the event more than once. So um, I'm hoping to repeat again. I gotta try to keep my, keep my edge and keep out in front of everybody else. We're going on a search warrant at an alleged drug house. They got two John Doe suspects there that are supposedly selling crack out of the house. Um, they probably have guns and they've got dogs. So we're pulling the cage off the front and then three different windows. Once we get that front gate around that porch off, then we'll have to breach that front door. Jason will step in number three. So that's where I'll come in. I'll have the heavy breacher with me to uh, breach the front door, and that'll be our main entry point. My job is I'm going to deploy this tool here, uh, our, one of our harpoon tools, to the front cage door. These, uh, these straps will handle about 27,000 pounds. Working strength is about 6,500 pounds. The house probably doesn't weigh that much. These dope dealers like to surround themselves with what they consider bad dogs. And if we have aggressive dogs on the inside, we'll end up killing them. All right. Woohoo! We ready? We're ready as we're going to get. Uh, we're moving. This type of warrant is a little bit more difficult because narcotics officers weren't able to get inside the house, so we really don't know what we're going to be walking into. 
they probably do have guns and we know that they've got dogs, there is that threat of an aggressive dog attacking. Right turn, coming up! Right turn, coming up! We have absolutely no idea what's inside, and we're basically going in blind. We're going on a search warrant at an alleged drug house. If we have aggressive dogs on the inside, we'll end up killing them. Let's move. We're moving. We have absolutely no idea what's inside. We got in real quick, the pools, I think were all effective. There were three bodies inside. One guy right inside the front door, there was a female that came uh, out of the back bedroom and then there was a guy in the bathroom. They complied because we scared them. The dog complied too, he was scared to death. There was no AC there. What you got, John? It's an AR-15. No, it's not. That is a toy. What'd you guys find? Uh, some crack cocaine, some money, and the scale, and there was a razor blade, what they were using to cut it up. Cool. They find any real guns other than it just that plastic one? That was it. It worked. We saw the, saw the result. Everything went pretty smooth. I'm not saying that we become complacent because we don't. I mean, because we, we come into each situation, you know, ready for the worst, but we haven't, to this point, found anything that we can't get into, so. I've got four kids, my daughter Stephanie and the three boys. Cade's been after me because he wants a paintball gun, so I got one for him to play with. I got one a little bit bigger for me to play with, too. It'd be kind of a surprise for him. Look, Cade. Paintball gun. Golden, look. It's a gun. It's a paintball gun. They got sunglasses with them? Yep. Mommy, we got the guns. Cool. You look so cool. High five. Here, give Carson high five. All right. On your mark, get set, go! Cool! It seems like I've been shooting basically my whole life. There's not a whole lot of things that I'm good at, but shooting is one of them. There you go. Oh, good job! I don't want my kids to be afraid of guns. Good, buddy. I want them to respect them and to know the type of damage that they can cause. Remember, you don't want to point this thing at anybody, okay? You understand? There you go. Woo -hoo. I think you can. That's pretty good, huh? Good job. I think you're better than the top shooter here. You think you might be better than Daddy? I'm better. Is that fun? Is that fun? See you later, boys. You'll be good. All right, baby, I'll talk to you in a little while, okay? Bye. 
getting ready to go to a briefing for a warrant over in West Dallas. That's a John Doe warrant, which means that they don't know the exact identity of the suspects. The narcotics has been to the house, so they're going to tell us what they know. All right, if y'all listen up, we'll go ahead and get started. I actually been into the house. There's going to be a black male, about 16 to 18 maybe. They sell 50s out of the house, 50 cent pieces of crack cocaine. He gets the dope from behind the couch here, and if he has a gun or anything like that, it's going to be probably behind the couch. There's a big house in the corner with a fence around it. And there's a target. We'll pull up at our APC, drive through the front yard, over that little sidewalk. We've got uh, four different straps we're gonna hook up. We're gonna do four pools today to make sure that we get in. I'm the pool coordinator. It's a pretty small house. And we're just pulling all the bars off of it and stuff. A little bit more pulls than what we normally do, but just to ensure that we're able to get in, we're gonna we're gonna pull them off. All right, you guys ready to step off? All right, move. Oh, hell, oh, All right, what house are you hooking on to? You just hooked my window. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that was the front door. We do these run-throughs to try to nail down what our individual roles are uh, on these warrants. You can't train specifics because you don't know exactly what's going to happen. So you have to be ready for anything. I'll be running a uh, lead on entry. It's going to be pretty busy, but if everything goes to plan, it should work out. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and load up. Cover guys are on the side. You good? We're up. We're up. You can see what's up. All right, we're going. We got four pulls we're doing with this APC. Three windows and a door. We're about 30 seconds out. Right turn. Right turn. Yeah, second house. On the corner on the right. Getting ready to go on a warrant, part of the, the drug neighborhood that's over there. We've got four pulls we're doing with this APC. 20 seconds. Here we are right here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on, come on, Scott. Go, 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 Two coming. Bring them out here when you're ready. Once we got inside, the number one guy confronted the two suspects right there in the first room. He locked them up, and we just went ahead and secured the rest of the house. We're waiting to see if they find anything in there as far as drugs goes or not. We have a secondary deposit yet? He may have flushed. That told us the water's low and it stopped running when I came in. Yeah, that's normally what he keeps it in that black bag. What'd y'all find? Uh, we got two guns. What is that, a 44? 44 and... What is that, 380? Any drugs? Uh, that they might have had time to go flush it. We found, uh, like, PCP bottles. We found uh, marijuana baggies and stuff like that floating, so... That's a, a sewage line. We think the uh, plumbing on the outside is not connected like it's supposed to be. So if that's the case, then it'll allow us to check uh, the area where the toilet would have been flushed to see if there's any narcotics there. If you look, you see 
you know, toilet paper and stuff like that. So. Oh, that stinks. Before I start touching anything, I just want to make sure. I can go inside the house and see where it drains out to. But, oh, oh, that's nasty. Had flush in there so we could see if they were going to come out of the, if it was going to come out of these pipes here, or if it was going to go down through these this pipe here and it went down this pipe. So it's gone. If if they did anything, it's gone. There's a real competition here. Good job, John. Johnny Baker from SWAT, Bodie Sarton from SWAT, two of the best shots on the department. Out of the five times previous that I've shot it, I've actually won it three times. Oh, my goodness. Oh, heck, two of the best shots in SWAT in the nation. Get a recount on that. I usually leave my duty belt and trunk this morning. I realized about uh, five minutes out that I had left my rig in my closet at home. So I got here without my without my gun. My gun. I quit. I'm going did home. Did you come to a gunfight without a gun? I did. <laughs> I did. So I'll be shooting a pistol today that I've never pulled the trigger on before. Here they come. Watch the target. I can't pick it no, up. No, you can't pick it up. Get up. Get on. That was stupid. Top 10, I don't think it's happening this year, bro. It's a long day, Johnny. And it's getting it longer and longer. Watch your target! <laughs> nice shoot, bro. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Might do it, Bodie. Cause I got a little quick on the uh, clays because I was getting hits, and I just got out of my rhythm. All in all, the, uh, the event felt good. And I like the, it. The carrier. God, that's terrible. Scotty, four? All hits. All hits. Four hits. Carrier. Good stuff. Jeez, that sucks. Because it's not my gun. I don't know where it shoots. Bodie got right. first on one this one. Gary Martin standing. got second. Okay. Gonna be real close. Two point forty-two. And I'm going to announce the the top three. And I'll tell you, it was tight between first through fifth place. This year's first place top shooter is Bodie Sark. And second place this year was Gary Martin. But third place this year goes to Johnny Baker. What? Come on up. Well, today was a little bit frustrating. Had to improvise a little bit with the gun situation. I didn't think you were going to come back, buddy. Things didn't go exactly like I had planned. But this kind of thing happens to SWAT all the time, so we train to make adjustments. I wish I'd won, but since I didn't, I'm glad that Bodie won. At least it went to another SWAT officer. Next year, though, I'll be ready. <laughs>